So when you're rebuilding your axles, uh, changing your wheel, uh, your axle uh, bearings is always a good thing, and you're gonna need this special tool right here, and uh, a lot of cuss words and fun. <laughs> you're running out of gas, man. It has moved the head. It did move some. That's me. He hasn't moved it much. I say, if, if y'all got this while I was gone, it's because I got it loose. Yeah, you right. didn't get it loose. <laughs> you didn't even get it close to me. He made it move. Alright. He's literally almost got it. Yeah, he's got it. Got it? I loosened it. Alright, so after we're pulling the bearings out of the housing on the uh, for your axle uh, shafts, uh, as you saw in the video, it was pain in the butt, it was hard. Um, pain. You have to have this pretty much this tool right here to get it out. Um, so put it back in, we're going to do it the same way you did the bearing races, we froze them. Um, that's your part number right there for your uh, bearings on your axles on the 06 with the 9 and 3 quarter rear. So now that we've got it frozen, we're going to see how much easier it is to get it back in. So let's get it out of the freezer and get it in the truck and see what it does. All right, now that the bearings are nicely frozen right now, we're going to go ahead and go out to the truck and uh, see if it taps into place a lot easier than it came out. All right, pretty much everything is uh, already cleaned up. We've got the new bearing in here, so I'm going to stick it right in right here. Get make sure we get it as even as we can. And with a little bit of tap in action. So far, so good. Actually went in pretty dang good. And when it changed metal tone like that, that right there tells you that you have your bearing in exactly the way it's supposed to be. So at that point what you want to do is go ahead, just going to rotate them around in there, wipe off the little bit of condensation. We're going to spray some white lithium grease in there and get that all cleaned up. Next up is putting the seal on. The seal's pretty easy too. Just use one of these right here. Pretty much just going to tap it in the same exact place. This line right here actually seals this seal into the housing so that way you don't have gear oil come out of the uh, rear end. So anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and get this finished up, cleaned up, I'm going to wipe the condensation out, get the grease on and get this done. Alright, now that we've got the white lithium grease in there, we've already spray, uh, cleaned up any of the moisture in there, so we're going to go ahead and tap the new seal into place. Just want to get it all level, same exact way as we did on the Baron. just that simple. So freezing your bearings helps out just as much as freezing your aces on the tight fittings. Um, housing's got a tight fit in there, it's nice snug, but freezing it really just made it that much easier because getting it out was a pain in the butt. Um, definitely went in a lot easier than it came out. So I hope that helps you guys and I'll catch you on the next one. 1159 videos. Oh.